I almost got my own TV show, and here's how it happened. Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I'm gonna talk to you about one of the most soul-crushing events that I've ever experienced in my entire life. And if you get something out of this video or you like what you see, or maybe you didn't know about the Deck Doctor, click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, let's get cracking. So did you know that I shot two pilot episodes of a TV show called The Deck Doctor that aired nationally twice on the DIY network. And I'm gonna tell you all about it and how it came about. I decided one day, I was watching all these HGTV shows and I was, I was thinking, man, it'd be kind of cool to do a deck TV show. I think that there'd be a lot of interest in that and maybe somebody would be interested in, in helping me with that. And so I started reaching out to all the celebrities on the shows, but none of them would ever get back to me. So I started thinking about it, I was like, huh, that's not working. How would I do this? I turned to my wife and I told her, I said, hey honey, I wanna have a television show. And she just looked back at me, she said, okay, how are you gonna do that? So what I decided on was that I think I need to talk to some producers and some production companies. And that's exactly what I did. We started out finding a person that knew a person that might be interested. I took all the footage from all these flower and garden shows I did with all these automations and different actuations. And we got a guy that really thought, hey, this might be something good. So he got a hold of me and said, hey, I'm interested. We need to put together a sizzle reel. And so I was like, what's a sizzle reel? He says it's a four to five minute video that we can pitch the network and they can see if they'd be interested in learning more about this concept we have for a TV show. So that's exactly what we did. We cut our first sizzle reel and it has to do with me and my team of people and my son and how we build these crazy decks for people. Well, Scripps Network liked that sizzle, so they told my uh, production team, they said, okay, here's some money, go shoot us a better sizzle, more polished sizzle. So they came up here from LA, and in three days we cut a more polished sizzle reel for the network, and the network watched that, and they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, we kind of see where you're going with this. Here's a bunch of money, go cut two pilots for us for our network, and we'll put it on the air, and we'll see how it competes with uh, the other pilots that we're gonna launch. We did that. Now that's where this became the most stressful and problematic portion of my life was because the producers, they're like, you know, they didn't really care about the construction. They didn't care about the quality. They didn't care about any of that stuff. What they cared about was that we stayed on our production schedule and that we were able to build two decks at the same time, which I'd never done in my life. I'm usually a one kind, one deck per person kind of guy. I just show up at one project and then I go to the next project and then I go to the next project. So we had to flip back and forth between two builds. It was winter times. So I was leaving my house in the dark and I was coming home in the dark and I was working seven days a week so I could get these decks built and I was transferring my tools back and forth to two different projects, which was very time consuming and labor intense and it was a lot of effort. But we finally got both these decks built in the timeline that we had to get them built and filmed and the reveals and all that. And then they went into post-production. Now each deck we did had to have three different automations, which was way too much. It was just stressing me out, trying to figure all this stuff out. Uh, we did exposed barbecues, benches that popped up out of the deck, tables, uh, remote control tiki torches that came out of the deck, all kinds of crazy stuff. But we got it done and it was quite a feat. But I was getting very sick towards the end of filming. This is how badly I was stressed out. One day on set, I was trying to measure some stuff and I was so stressed out, I could not read my tape measure. I had to go get glasses fit and prescribed to me because I, I was just having issues reading like up close. I went, went to the uh, ophthalmologist, got that done, got the glasses made, everything was cool, okay, great, I can read, and so on and so forth. And then after we were done filming and things got back to normal, I went and put my glasses on and I couldn't read anything out of my glasses. I was so stressed out, the blood vessels in my eyes were constricting and changing my vision. And so after the show was done and I was done with all that, I had to go get re-prescribed new glasses because those glasses weren't even good anymore. 
Crazy, right? I think in the end, we finally had a big reveal party. I invited everybody on Facebook I knew to come to this party. We had 250 people show up to this restaurant and we watched the episodes on TV. It was really cool to see myself and my family, my crew and everybody on television. It was quite an amazing feat. And I basically felt like, hey man, this could be the future for Dr. Dex. Okay, so a few months later, it came time to decide what shows were gonna be played on, on the network. And unfortunately, the deck doctor was not chosen for the lineup. They had 30 shows competing for two slots in their lineup and Dr. Dex was not one of them, or the Deck Doctor was not one of them. They happened to choose, now remember this is in 2016. The flip shows were the most popular thing going on. They're still very popular, and they chose two flip shows to go into their programming. That pretty much killed the Deck Doctor, that killed my spirit, that killed my mental capacity and I kind of went into reclusion for about a year. It just took me a minute to get over that. I worked so hard and with so much effort to try and get this done and everything in my power, and I gave away thousands and thousands and thousands of labor and dollars, and I didn't care. And I gave up my family and I gave up everything to try and get this, and it wasn't enough. But I did learn a lot from it, and that's what how this YouTube channel gave birth because now I'm so comfortable on camera, I can sit here and talk to you guys all day. You know, most of it will make sense and hopefully it's entertaining to you as well. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. That's just a little bit of a history on the Deck Doctor and how we came about. If you like what you saw or you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. If you want to take a look at those two cuts of the episodes, go through and scroll through here. They're on my YouTube channel called The Deck Doctor. Do a little search, see if you can find them. I hope you guys enjoy those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.